Well, for anthropologists, that's easy because it's field work. <laughs> I mean, it's the one thing anthropologists always have to do, or at least they did, and it's sort of not so much of that strong anymore. But uh, it's still important. And, and so, as you said, why did I go to Indonesia? Well, you had to go somewhere. I mean, it was in those days, it was absolutely required that you spend some time in a non Western society, at least six months. And most people spend two years the way I did, two and a half years. So uh, for an anthropologist, research is fairly well defined in, in, in a global sense, that you have to go somewhere normally, at, at least for the first time outside the Western orbit, though some people more and more just go or only go to, to the United States. But most of them go first somewhere else and then to the United States later and so on. But anyway, uh, research is very well defined for an anthropologist, at least in globally. What you do when you get there is, of course, not almost as ill-defined as the thing is, but but research for, now, for field anthropologists is, is field work. It's going and living someplace. I went, this town was about 25,000 people, I guess, then, in the middle of the Rondas River Plain. And the same thing in, in uh, Morocco. I went to a small town at the foot of the Middle Atlas. And you live there, and you speak to the people, and you talk to them, and you, and you keep field notes. All those are things that bear my field notes. And uh, so, uh, Th that's not so problematic. What is problematic is what you do when you get there. And that's really well defined. You have to make it up as you go along and you talk to people the way you're talking to me and try to get to draw them out and find out what you want to know about them as persons, but also about particularly always looking for what is cultural, well, the cultural aspect of their lives and what, what they understand themselves to be and want to be and what their society is and what their views are.